You need a jacket. Mom, I'm wearing a whole sweatshirt. Shh, a whole sweatshirt. You're never satisfied. The floor of my van was already insulated, so we decided to just put wood over the insulation that came with the van. This is the wood we used for my floor. It slid in perfectly, and my Ford Transit Connect, it was the perfect fit. We were so happy. I asked my dad what size wood it was, and he said four by six by seven. We measured it, and it was 79 inches long, just in case you guys have the same van and want to use this wood. Once we had the wood in place, my dad traced out the area that he would have to cut so that that part of the wood would not stick out in that area of the van whenever I opened the door. Now we're just going to use some of the scrap wood that we just cut off to fill in this, these little sections here with wood. Perfect. Well, I don't know. You tell me. Perfect. <laughs> it's okay. My van came with bolts already installed in the floor, and my dad wants to drill as little holes as possible in this van build, so he decided to use these bolts to anchor down the plywood floor. We're just gonna drill a hole through the wood, and then it's gonna go down here. And then get a bit, a screw long enough to go. Through the wood and through this. Through that, mm -hmm, and through the wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have did all flat ones, huh? Come and push on that in. What, here? Push on that in where the boat is. Okay. Then you go push on the other end. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Tilt your end down. Oh. <laughs> okay. Looks perfect. Okay. The bolts stick high up above the wood, so we're gonna use a tool to recess them. I think that's what it's called, to like recess it so that the nail isn't sticking up above the wood. And this is the tool we use to do that. And now the nail isn't sticking up so far above the wood. We just drilled holes in the sections of the flooring where the nails would be. And make sure you get all the air bubbles out.
my van came with these panels on the doors so we just took them off and added insulation behind them this little piece of stuff was already there so we just left it there for added insulation and then we added a little bit more on top of that I learned a lot from this guy here. You have to watch him. You're gonna be like, dang, that's cool. The little black things that hold the panel in kept popping out, which meant that we had too much insulation behind it. So we had to remove some insulation from behind that panel. Now I'm testing to make sure they fit before I spray paint them. Like I said before, my dad really did not want to drill a lot of holes in this van. So whenever possible, we used existing holes to screw things into and bolt things into. And we used this tool to be able to screw in the bolts. Try without anything in it. Huh? Oh, it's easy now. <laughs> squeeze you got it so this is what it looked like before and that's what it looks like after you add the rivet we did have to drill some holes in the van though and then we filed them down after we drilled them and we sprayed it with some rust preventative spray We tried to use the putty idea again to mark where we would have to drill on the wood, but it didn't work as well. So I got some lipstick <laughs> and we used that and that worked pretty well actually with leaving marks on the wood to tell us where we had to drill. But then we eventually decided that nail polish <laughs> was the best option. So that's what we used. Tell me in the comments, what do you use to help mark wood so that you know where to drill it? See how fast it'll go down? Marsh is going in there too. Bam. The bolt was still sticking up a little bit, so we had to recess it a little bit more. And then we added Loctite to the bolt and bolted the wood to the wall. Okay. We left this area open just in case in the future I need to go in there to, I don't know, change a light or whatever those wires are for. We didn't want to block them. Then we used this tool to drill pocket holes and some of the other pieces of wood. Well, if you measure this thickness of this wood, it's going to be three quarters. 
You put the three quarters, set that to three quarters, you set that to three quarters. Okay. See right there? Mm-hmm. And that. These are the pocket holes, and once we had them all drilled, we added wood glue to the ends of the wood and then screwed in these pieces of wood. Then we added some short pieces in between those vertical pieces. We just wanted as much wood as possible to nail the wall to, or to nail anything that I might put on the wall, like a shelf or something. <laughs> 